walking fish. Hi friends. Last night I had a weird dream and in my dream I saw something which cannot be imagined. Ages back in dreamland I saw fish which could travel as easily on land as they could swim in water. One day the whole fish tribe had been playing along a sandy beach near the sea. Rin Fin was the leader of the tribe. At last, they became tired of the game. Hey, let us rest down the great black rock. Beyond the shore where the fish had been playing, there were cliffs and rocks. Some of the rocks rose straight out of the water. Others slopped towards the sandy beach. High above the rest was the great black rock. The fish climbed to the top. Then, one after another, they followed the leader, each gliding head first down the rock. It was a fine sport. Stop dancing now. It is time to cook dinner. There is a good place for camping under the trees of the tall cliff. Come on, come on. Let's climb to the top of the cliff by the sea. Gather wood and heap it high at the edge of the cliff. Let me rub two sticks briskly and you will see a spark. Once it falls on a wood, it will instantly light up. Now we can put some roots in the fire to roast and then eat them. A dark cloud which they had not noticed had covered the sun. The rain fell hard and fast and soon put out the fire. has put up the fire. It's so cold. This icy wind will leave us shivering. We may freeze to death unless we build a fire again. I'm trying to strike the sticks again and again, but they just don't make a spark. It is of no use. The wood is too wet. We shall have to wait for the sun to shine again. Ask my father, Fairy Fish, to light the fire. He's skilled in magic and he can do more than most fish. Dear Fiery Fish, can you please light the fire once again? Sure, I shall do it. Move, my dear friends. I need to fan the fire. I need some space. Bring more wood. We shall soon be warm now. The water feels warm for the strong wind drew the fire down below too. There indeed is a bonfire at the bottom of the sea, burning as brightly as ever. More wonderful still, the fire never went out like fires on land do.
the water at the bottom of the sea has been warm ever since that day. That is why on frosty days, the fish disappear from the surface of the water. They dive to the bottom of the sea where they can keep warm and comfortable around the magic bonfire. Suddenly, I wake up to know it was only a dream. But how I wished it was true. <laughs>